So, and I'm going to do a video here of Mr. Picasso. Um, he did see the vet. He did have to have that left uh, right eye removed. Um, and that uh, was just so much scarring that had happened um, from probably the herpes virus. It actually kind of destroyed the um, the line of the eyelid, if you will, and caused a lot of sort of webbing over the eye and pretty much eye loss completely in that right eye. So we did remove the eye. I think he's way more comfortable. And this is him here with Pandora and exploring around. Um, the left eye, which is remaining, has a little bit of scarring in it, but still good vision. You can see he's maneuvering around and checking things out pretty well and pretty easily. Um, because the eyelids on that side are scarred as well, um, it, that eye will be a little bit more prone to infection. So that is something that the owners will need to kind of keep an eye on and you may need to do um, eye ointment from time to time. Um, with him. So not a big deal really, just something to keep an eye on. Um, certainly I, he doesn't see, I mean he, when these cats have these sort of big surgeries where they they lose um, something like an eye in his case that has been causing him a lot of discomfort and, and a lot of issue, to me it's always just amazing. The whole demeanor of the cat is just different um, without the pain. <laughs> Um, of and then the discomfort of what he had. So you can see he's clearly maneuvering around just fine. So uh, what vision he does have in that remaining eye is, is certainly going to be sufficient, um, perhaps unless you're changing your furniture around every month or something. But um, he has dissolvable stitches in that eye, and so they... Uh, will dissolve on their own and um, he is on antibiotics for a couple of weeks um, and but I still suspect that he can go home uh, about January 17th.